Hello students, welcome you to this session. In today's class, we are going to study something entirely different one. So far we studied parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, a lot of results, then sums based on that, right? And today we are going to see something very simple, at the same time, uh, some lot of results you have to remember. Okay, so first, how to identify, suppose an equation is given, how to identify which, what type of conic it represents, whether it represents a parabola or ellipse, or hyperbola, or circle. So how to identify that we are going to see. It's a very simple thing. Maybe a one mark question. Then we are going to study a lot of formula. Equation of tangent, equation of normal, some parametric equation, a lot of work for you. Okay, so I'm going to give the formula, learn that. Then based on that, one exercise sums are there. Okay, so let us start with identifying the codic. How to identify uh, what type of conic it is, identifying the conics. Listen, this already we studied, right? Uh, if you know the eccentricity, you know how to identify. When eccentricity equal to 1, parabola less than 1. Less than 1 means 0 to 1, right? Between 0 and 1. Ellipse and more than 1, it is what? Hyperbola, that you know. Suppose a general second degree equation is given. Then you identify the values of A, B, C. That's enough, right? Then we have... C, D, E, F, everything. A, B, C. What are this A, B, C? A is the coefficient of X square. B is the coefficient of X, Y. And C is the coefficient of Y square. Then you find B square minus 4AC. If it is, and you compare with 0. If it is equal to 0, parabola, less than 0, ellipse, greater than 0, hyperbola. In the first class, I taught this one, right, in conics. Now, based on that, few sums. And so this is useful when this X, Y term is there. If we have this xy term, this is the easiest method when there is xy term. Okay. If there is no xy term, there are some very, very easy methods, right? So a lot of rules given. If you learn as rules, you cannot understand anything, right? So just try to understand and do. So while I'm teaching parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, I taught how to identify, right? So just I'm going to compiling now. So using degree, right? Using degree, you can say what type of conic it is, right? A degree and the coefficients. Just try to understand degree of x, y. Degree of x, y. Suppose the degree of x is 2 and y is 1, or x degree 1, y degree 2. That is, x square is there, but y square is not there, only y is there. Or, y square is there, but in x you have only x term. Okay, then you know this represent parabola. So remember the degree is 1, 2 or 2, 1. Then it represents what? Parabola. For ellipse and hyperbola, the degree what? 2. For ellipse, hyperbola, circle. Everything, the degree, x degree 2, y degree also 2. But then how to distinguish them? The sign between them, x square, y square, in between the sign is minus, then it is hyperbola. If it is plus, x square term is there, y square term is there, in between if the sign is plus, it is not 2 plus 2, don't add and write 4. Okay, So this is degree, just for you to understand, I don't want to give it as a statement and all. So x degree 2, y degree 2, that is x square term is there, y square term is there, in between the sign is plus then it may be ellipse or circle. You know, circle is a special case of ellipse only, right? So ellipse become a circle when this A and B are equal, right? When A and B are equal, it become a uh, circle. So you see the coefficients also. Coefficient of x square and y square, if they are different, it represent ellipse. So for ellipse, the additional condition is the coefficients are coefficients are different. But in uh, degree 2, x degree 2, y degree 2, that is x square, y square, in between the sign is plus, and the coefficients of x square and y square, coefficients are equal, 5x square plus 5y square, or simply x square plus y square, then it represents circle. Okay, hope you understood this. So this, this is the easiest way if xy term is not there. But if x-way term is there, 
So you can go for this b square minus 4ac. There, identifying abc, you have to do very carefully, not like what you studied in 11th standard. So there we take x square coefficient a, y square coefficient b, here not like that. x square coefficient is a, xy coefficient is b, and y square coefficient is what? c. Okay, look at this sums easily, you can say, look at the first one x degree 2, right? y degree also 2. x degree 2, first question. x degree 2, y degree 2, in between, look at the sign, it is minus, so it represents hyperbola. See the second sum. x degree 2, x degree 2, y degree also 2, in between, what's the sign? Plus is there, so it may represent ellipse or circle. See the coefficient, x square coefficient is 3, y square coefficient also 3. So they are equal, so it represents circle, right? Look at the third one, x degree 2, y degree also 2. So degree of uh, x and y are 2. And the sign in between, it is what? Plus, right? So the same sign, they have the same sign. So if both are minus, again, uh, what same sign only so it represents the ellipse or circle only okay so not only is the sign in between that means it doesn't mean the first one is minus normally we won't write first or minus okay that's the reason i'm telling like that okay the sign in between is plus so it is ellipse or circle coefficients are different right here the coefficient is three here the coefficient is two they are not equal so it represents ellipse so degree two sign in between them it is plus but different coefficient so it is ellipse see the fourth one x degree 2 y degree 2 in between the sign is what plus so don't go confined for some result you see the coefficient 1 1 so coefficients are equal so it represents a circle x degree 2 y degree 2 x degree 2, y degree 2, in between the sign is what? Minus. Then no need to go for coefficient. Only it is plus only, you have to see the coefficient. Here it is minus, so you, go, you say it is what? Hyperbola. See the last one. x degree 1, right? x degree 1, but y degree 2. x degree 1, y degree 2. So it is a parabola. Okay, that's all. One exercise over, right? Next... You are going to study a lot of results, okay? So first one is parametric form of conics. Parametric form of conics. So every equation can be written in parametric form using some parameters. So what are parameters, you know? Uh, even in complex number you would have studied, right? Uh, we write in polar form or modulus amplitude form. R into cos theta plus i sin theta. That is a parametric form, right? Uh, then that R and theta are called parameters. So it gives some additional information. R is the distance from the origin, right? And theta is the inclination uh, made with the x-axis. So for that are some of the advantages of parametric equation. Okay, so there are two advantages I given here. One of the advantages of parametric equation is that they can be used to graph curves, which can be used to graph curves that are not functions. It is also used to represent some useful uh, something useful, therefore, provide us some additional information. Okay, you know we are going to study the parametric equation of parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, circle. Circle parametric equation is circle's equation is x square plus y square is equal to what a square. Radius is a. If the radius is r, x square plus y square equal to r square. It's a circle with center at zero zero, and the radius is what uh, a unit or if it is r, r units. So here the parametric coordinates are x equal to a cos theta and y equal to a sin theta. What's the meaning of that, you know? So here a and theta are parameters. a is the radius, okay? So a is the radius. Suppose I take x-axis, y-axis like this. a is the radius. If I take a point here, so then this op gives radius and theta is this part angle made with what? x-axis. So that is what theta. Then you can say P is R cos. So if it is A, you write A cos theta. A cos theta, A sin theta. Okay. So these are the parametric coordinates. So A gives the radius and theta gives the inclination with x-axis. Okay. 
So parametric form of a circle already we discussed and go through this, uh, the full result, okay, sometimes for objective questions. So a lot of results given. So learn, try to learn as much as possible. So you may not be able to study everything overnight. So every day plan and learn few results, write and practice, okay? Because objective questions, any line can be asked. Also they can frame a lot of questions based on this. So learn this one, parametric form of circle x equal to a cos theta, y equal to a sin theta. For parabola, parabola standard equation is y square equal to 4x. That is called Cartesian equation. And the parametric equations are x equal to 80 square, y equal to 280. Another information just I want to tell you, if you substitute this x value and y value, it satisfies. Suppose x value 80 square and y value 280. So what is what happened to LHS? What is LHS? Y square, right? y square, what is y value here? 280. So 280 the whole square. If you square it, you will get 4a square, t square. What is RHS? 4ax, right? That is 4 into a into x. What is x value? 80 square. Simplify what you get? 4a square, t square. Right? So both answers will be same only. Okay? So parametric equation is not something else. So which satisfies the given equation. Okay. So here T is the parameter. Okay. In here we saw A and theta in the case of what? Uh, so but here A is the constant because A is the radius. Only parameter is what? Theta. Theta is the parameter. When you take different points, the angle changes, right? So theta is the parameter. But A is the constant. Okay. That's not the parameter. So here T is the parameter. T is the parameter x equal to A T square y equal to 280, so t is the parameter here. Ellipse, already you know, it's a different uh, special case only. Okay, ellipse, special case only, circle, right? So what happens, instead of b, there we are writing a, right? a cos theta, a sin theta, that is the parametric equation of circle. So for ellipse, x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta, here theta is the parameter, theta is the parameter. A and B are constant. So theta lies between 0 and 2 pi. For hyperbola, x equal to A secant theta, y equal to B tan theta. Here theta is the parameter. So only for uh, parabola, we use T. T is the parameter. For other cases, ellipse, circle, hyperbola, theta is the parameter. Then tangents and normals. So tangents already you know, right? Tangents, normals, you know what it is. Suppose the curve is given through one point you draw a line. The line touches the curve at only one point. That is called tangent. For that you draw a perpendicular line. That is called what? Normal. So Pn is normal. Pt is what? Tangent. So in Cartesian form, how to find equation tangent? I taught some easy method while I'm teaching circles, right? So no need to mark up any formula. X square, I said you change it as xx1, right? Y square, you write it as yy1. 2x, you can write it as x plus x1. 2y, y plus y1, right? Then suppose it is 7x, what do you do? Multiply by 2 and divide by 2, right? So 7 by 2 into, you will get a 2x that you write x plus x1. Suppose it is 10y, you write it as 5 into 2y, right? 5 into 2y. That 2y can be written as y plus y1. So please listen for, then for ellipse, what's the equation of ellipse? x square by a square plus y square by b square is 1, right? What is the equation of tangent then? This x square and y square, you change. x square, replace it as what? xx1 by a square. y square, you change it as yy1 by b square is equal to 1. Like that you can change. For parabola, can you say how to change? Parabola's equation is what? y square equal to 4x. y square, you can write it as yy1. A, you write as it is, 4x. How can you write that 4x? 2 into 2x, right? 2 into 2x. That 2x, you write x plus x1. So this is an easy method to find equation of what? Tangent. Okay, so see, equation, this is what? So equation of tangent to the parabola. We are going to study both uh, Cartesian form and parametric form. Cartesian form, this easy method. Parametric form, no other way you have to study, right? Yt equal to x plus 80 square. So these are the formula to find what? Equation of tangent. Equation of tangent to the parabola. Cartesian form and parametric form. Then for normal also, equation normal to the parabola. That also we are going to study Cartesian form and 
parametric form. This is Cartesian form and this is parametric form. No other method you have to study. Okay, so, so a small change, say cube. Instead of cube, they're given the choice, they give square. Okay, some objective question they can frame. Some instead of plus, you put minus. Okay, so read it very carefully, write and practice it. Okay, so every day learn four or five formula, so you can learn this. So don't accumulate, don't postpone it, don't think I can study at the exam previous day, no. Okay, so revise it. Now we learn, now and then you revise. What are the things you find difficult, please mark it and often you revise it. That is for parabola, like that for ellipse. So equation tangent to ellipse. So Cartesian form, parametric form. Normal, this is also for what? Ellipse. So this is for ellipse. Ellipse equation tangent, both the forms, Cartesian form, parametric form. For normal, Cartesian form and parametric form. Same way for hyperbola. Equation of tangent. Tangent equation easily you can study, right? Cartesian form. So that change, x square, you write x, x, 1, like that, you can do that. Parametric form, you have to study, see the equation. You have to study this, x, c. the last question. So they'll give, say, uh, they'll give an ellipse, x square by 16 plus y square by 25 is equal to 1. This represent what? Ellipse, first type or second type? Second type, because smaller, greater, right? Okay, if you continuously watch our videos, you can understand very easily, okay? So here, but what is a square? The greater number, right? Okay. So then you substitute here. Theta they give. In the question they give theta. Just you substitute. One the thing, you learn the formula. If you learn the formula, sums very, very simple. Okay. Just write the formula, substitute. That's all. Then equation normal to the hyperbola. Here also we have Cartesian form and parametric form. Okay. Now, another result. Condition for a line, y equal to mx plus c, to be a tangent to a conic. Listen here, in circles we studied, I don't know whether you remember the formula or not, hmm? condition for the line, say y equal to mx plus c, y equal to mx plus c, and conic, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, right? The condition for this line to touch this parabola, and what is the condition? Also we are going to find the point of contact. In circles also we study that two results, right? So, condition and point of contact. Condition for what? Condition for the line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to parabola, then the point of contact. Same way, condition for the line to touch the ellipse and the point of contact and for hyperbola. Okay. So, this is what I given here. Condition for parabola c equal to a by m. Condition for the line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent or to touch the parabola is c equal to a by m and the point of contact is a by m square to a by m a by m square to a by m so practice it okay for ellipse and hyperbola almost same only only the sign differs what sign differing differs you know even in the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square not another hyperbola what minus okay so b square become minus b square that's all so here also see plus b square here become minus b square. Here plus b square become minus b square. That's the only change. Okay. Otherwise it's same. For ellipse the condition is c square equal to a square m square plus b square. Hyperbola c square equal to a square m square minus b square. And the point of contact minus a square m by c comma b square by c for ellipse and for hyperbola both the values are negative. Okay. So both the values are negative. So remember that one. So this is one result you have to remember. So these things we no need for proof, only the results you study. The locus, locus means the path trace, right? Locus, locus of the point of intersection of perpendicular tangents. So from an outside point you can draw two tangents. Suppose a parabola is given from the outside point you can draw two tangents. So you see the angle. Perpendicular, if they are 90, if the angle is 90, you say they are perpendicular tangents, right? So, perpendicular tangents you take, you may have several points, okay? So, there and all, when you draw, you may get perpendicular tangents. Such points and all you take and join, that is called locus. For parabola, if you join like that, the curve, what you get is the directrix. Directrix of the parabola is what? X equal to minus A. For object question, it's important. And for ellipse, the locus of 
the point of intersection of perpendicular tangents is director circle for ellipse and hyperbola the answer is director circle but what is director circle for ellipse and hyperbola it differs x square plus y square equal to for ellipse the right side is a square plus b square and for hyperbola the right side is a square minus b square okay so in both the cases you remember like this for parabola the locus is directrix that is x equal to minus a for ellipse and hyperbola the locus is the director circle but what is director circle equation of director circle differs for ellipse and hyperbola for ellipse the director circle is x square plus y square equal to a square plus b square for hyperbola x square plus y square equal to a square minus b square learn this one they may ask find the radius of director circle something like that okay so suppose their question is like this x square by 16 plus y square by 9 equal to 1 find the radius of director circle what do you do don't say it is not in my syllabus director circle you know what is director circle x square plus y square equal to you stop a moment and you see whether it is a ellipse or hyperbola plus is there right it is ellipse so for ellipse what's the right side a square plus b square so 16 plus 9 what is 16 plus 9 it is 25 so what is radius don't write 25 one of the option will be 25 also okay it is not 25 that is s r square right r square is 25 so r equal to what 5 okay so like that questions can be framed so just to learn try to understand everything as much as possible okay? and i think this is the last result i'm going to give you so how many tangents can be drawn from an external point always you know even from 10th standard you are studying right for a circle from an outside point you can draw two tangents and how many normals you can draw i am giving the table so they can ask they give several statements they will ask you uh, which are the following statements are true false like that they can ask or directly the number of tangents can be drawn for an ellipse or number of tangents and normals so both answers they can give so just remember this table parabola ellipse hyperbola here number of tangents and number of normals from an external point so tangents your answer is 2 for all the cases for tangents for parabola or ellipse or hyperbola number of tangents equal to 2 and normals for parabola it is 3 for other cases it is 4 so remember this table so then you can answer any question okay so that's all the theory part shall you go for the sums okay exercise number 5.4 the first question find the equation of two tangents can be drawn from 5 comma 2 to the ellipse so just now we study right now how many tangents can be drawn from an external point you can draw two tangents but now what they are asking find the equation of that two tangents see the ellipse equation is 2x square plus 7 y square equal to 4 14 reduce in standard form dividing by 14 and try to find a square and b square divide by 14 you will get what x square by 7 right to get cancel plus y square by 2 equal to 1 so what is a square value a square is 7 and b square equal to 2 so we want equation of tangents right so equation of tangents now please listen here here only we are going to use the results what we studied generally equation circle sorry equation tangent is a line right so we equal to mx plus c but don't write c only the c value you should change so when you teach one sum you can do three sums at the same time so i'll tell you what changes you make if it is parabola instead of c you write a by m because tangent it touches the condition we studied right if it is ellipse c square is equal to a square m square plus b square so c equal to root of if it is hyperbola instead of c you write root of a square m square minus b square but here this question is what for ellipse so instead of c what you have to write y equal to mx plus c you write root of a square m square plus b square so that is you know the value of a square b square so substitute that so y equal to mx plus 
root of since plus is there uh, root we are taking you know so better you put plus or minus okay so plus or minus root of a square is 7 7 m square plus b square 2 so this is our answer this is equation of tangent but there is an unknown what's unknown m how can you find m it passes through one point is given no which point 5 comma 2 so you can say since it passes through 5 comma 2 so since since it passes through Five comma two. For x you put five and y you put two. So y value two equal to x is five, right? So five m into five. Five m plus or minus root of seven m square plus two. Bring that five m to the left side. So two minus five m equal to plus or minus root of seven m square plus two. So now we have to solve this. Root is there to avoid that. You have to square it. When you square. 2 minus 5m the whole square is equal to plus or minus so it becomes plus when you square root cancel so 7m square plus 2 it is a quadratic equation I know you can solve this right so left side is a minus b the whole square simplify you will get a quadratic equation just in giving the value 9m square minus 10m plus 1 equal to 0 and when you solve it you will get m equal to 1 and 1 by 9 so you can factorize and do that okay trinomial so two values you are getting for m both the values you substitute in the first equation okay this is the equation first time you put m equal to 1 you will get one tangent then you put m equal to 1 by 9 you will get another tangent okay so when m equal to 1 when m equal to 1 equation 1 become y equal to equation 1 become y equal to mx m value what 1 right so 1x uh, plus root of 7 into 1 square so 7 plus 2 right so you are getting y equal to x plus 3 7 plus 2 is what 9 so root 9 is 3 okay so here one answer so here you take only that plus value and when x equal to 1 by 9 so that also you substitute and try to find out I am giving the answer you try to complete this okay so the calculation part I think you can do that one okay now shall you go for the second sum look at this find the equation of tangents to the hyperbola which are parallel to this so listen carefully this one just try to understand calculation part you can do that okay find the equations of tangents so you have to get two tangents right to the hyperbola it is given in correct form only so straight away we can identify the a square b square values right what is a square value 16 because it is hyperbola so don't see greater smaller first type or second type this one first type why starting with x square so first type so a square is 16 b square is 64 so we want to find equation of tangent but you know the tangent line is parallel to this lines are parallel parallel lines differ only in constant perpendicular line you make three changes what changes interchange the coefficients of x and y change the sign in the middle also change the constant for perpendicular you have to make three changes but for parallel just one change no change in x and y only the constant term you change we want to find equation of tangent but that tangent line is parallel to this line so you can write equation of tangent directly equation of tangent can be taken as because it is per per parallel right so no change in x and y 10x minus 3y plus k you write whether it is plus 9 or it is minus 9 or there is no constant, you write plus k. If it is minus, I should put minus. Some students, you may have a doubt. Don't worry. Whether it is plus or minus, a fraction or no number is constant is there, you write plus k. That's all. Okay. So this is your answer, but we have to find what k value. So for that, this is a tangent, right? So tangent means it has to satisfy a condition, right? So line y equal to mx plus e to be a tangent, we studied condition, right? y equal to mx plus e. So identify m and c from here. So for that, you write it in rewrite in slope in reset form. So take minus 3y to that side. So 3y is equal to 10x plus k dividing by 3. y equal to 10 by 3, x plus k by 3. Now this is of the type y equal to mx plus c. What is m value? 
10 by 3 and C value K by 3. A square, B square already got it right. 16 and B square is 64. It is given right. Now you know the condition. Condition is, this is hyperbola, so C square equal to A square, M square minus B square. If it is ellipse, plus, right, plus B square. Now substitute, you can find K value, that's all. When you, I'll, we'll come to the calculation. C square, C value K by 3, when you square it, K square by 9, right? Equal to A square, 16, don't square again, because A square itself, 16. Into M square, it is only M, square it, 100 by 9. Minus B square is 64, right? So k square by 9 equal to, take 9 as LCM, 1600 minus 9 into 64, 576. So this 9 cancel. So k square is equal to 1024. That is 2 raised to 10. When you take square root, 2 raised to 5, right? So k equal to 32 will get. But when you take square root, you write plus or minus 30. Otherwise, you won't get one tangent, right? So k value got it. So that k value is substitute here. 10x minus 3y. 10x minus 3y. Equation 1 become 10x minus 3y plus k. k value plus 32 equals 0. One answer. Another answer is 10x minus 3y minus 32 equal to Zero. Okay. Hope you understood. This is parallel. That's why this one, if it is perpendicular, you would have given three changes, right? So go for the next question. Third one. Show that the line is a tangent to the ellipse. Show that the line is a tangent to the ellipse. Check whether the condition is satisfied or not. That's all. Then it become a tangent. Your line become a tangent if it satisfies the condition. Only that conditions you study also Point of contact. That table of color already given, right? That you study, that's all. Only thing from the question you identify. One line is given, write in slope intercept form. Identify the values of M and C. Then if it is parabola, find A value. If it is ellipse or hyperbola, identify A square and B square. Then condition, LHS, RHS, you find out, check whether they are equal. If they are equal, you say, yes, this line is a tangent or the line touches, that's all. Point of contact. The formula is there, just substitute, that's all. Okay, shall you do this? Uh, line is x minus y plus 4 equals 0. Minus y take to the other side, so y equal to x plus 4. y equal to mx plus c. What is m value? 1. mx, m value 1. And c value 4. Here, ellipse. x square plus 3 y square equal to 12. Not in standard form, dividing by 12. So, x square by 12 plus y square by 4, 3 cancel, right? Equal to 1. So a square, first type, a square is 12, greater, smaller. b square is 4, everything got it. So what is the condition to check? The condition, it is an ellipse, right? So condition is c square equal to a square, m square, plus b square, that's all. So find c square separately, c square, that is c is 4, 4 square 16. RHS you find out, a square, m square, plus b square. What is a square? 12 into m square, m value 1, 1 square is 1, plus b square is 4, 12 into 1, 12 plus 4, 16, both answers are same, so c square equal to a square, m square plus b square, if you want you can name it as LHS 1, RHS 2, from 1 and 2, the condition satisfied, therefore, the same line, the given line is a tangent, therefore, given line is a tangent. Conclusions you write, okay? Now one more part, don't stop here. Point of contact they asked. Formula you have to study. If you don't know the formula, even one hour is it, there is no use at all, right? So learn the formula. Before doing the exercise, the formula what I given. Don't leave any formula. In the book, the question, in the exercise they have to given few questions, right? But question can be framed in any form. So instead of uh, ellipse, they can ask it touches the parabola or hyperbola. Okay, so all the formula you study. Point of contact, the formula, this is ellipse. So first value minus, b square is positive, right? So minus a square m by c, comma b square by c. For hyperbola, same formula, but you write minus b square by c, okay? All the values we know, just you substitute and I'm leaving it to you. You will get minus 3, comma 1. Calculation part, you can do that. See the next question. 
Fourth one, you see, find the equation of the tangent to the parabola perpendicular to the grid, both the types. Earlier we did want some parallel. I said parallel, only one change. What change? Only the constant changes. But here perpendicular. So how many changes? Three changes. So equation of tangent, equation of tangent can be taken as, equation of tangent can be taken as, um, Three changes. Interchange the coefficients of x and y, but unfortunately here both are what? Two. So even if interchange, two, two only, right? If it is one and five, five comes here, right? Five, one. But here two, two. Even if interchange, two x, two y only. Change the sign in the middle, plus become minus. Constant you change, plus k equal to zero. So this is your answer. But there is an unknown. What's unknown? K. How to find? Same method what you did there. From this equation, from this equation, you find the value for values of what? M and C. You can do this, right? M and C you find out. So or we will do that, it'll help you fully. So write in which form? Y equal to MX. Take this negative term to the right side. So two y is equal to two x plus k dividing by two y equal to x plus k by two. Y equal to mx plus c. What is m value here? m value 1, c value k by 2, no a square, b square here, because the parabola, right, y square equal to 4x, y square equal to 4x, instead of 4a, what do you have? 16. So 4a is 16, so a equal to 4. All the values you know, right? So now the condition you write, condition is parabola, so c equal to a by m. So what is c here? k by 2 is equal to a value 4 by m value 1. So cross multiply k equal to 8, right? This k value substitute in the first equation, 2x minus 2y. Equation 1 becomes 2x minus 2y plus k. k value 8 equals 0, but every term divisible by 2. So divide by 2, the answer is x minus y plus 4 equal to 0. Now let's go for the next question. Find the equation of the tangent at t equal to 2. t equal to 2 means parameter. Find the equation of tangent. Equation of tangent. Listen very carefully. Select the formula correctly. Equation of tangent. We have formula. First you see whether it is parabola or ellipse or hyperbola. It's parabola. Then see whether they ask equation of tangent or normal. They ask equation of tangent. Cartesian equation are parametric. Cartesian equation means they'll give a point at 2, comma 3. Then x1, y1. Okay, so that you know, y square you write y, y, one like that you change. But this is parametric. So for parabola, the parameter is t. For ellipse hyperbola, they give the value of theta. Okay, so here you must know the formula, no other way. Only thing, first you find a value, y square equal to 8x, right? y square equal to 8x, y square equal to 4x, so 4a is 8. So a value 2. t value, they given us what? 2. So equation of tangent, only tangent they asked, equation of tangent at t to the parabola. Uh, the formula is yt is equal to x plus at square. If you know the formula, it's nothing, just to substitute and do that, okay? So y into t, t value 2 equal to x plus a, a value 2 into t also what? 2, right? Sorry, t square is the formula. So 2 square is become what? 4. So 2y is equal to x plus 8. Arrange in order, x minus 2y plus 8 equal to 0. So this is for parabola, they can ask normal, okay? So only thing, instead of tangent, they can ask find the equation of tangent and normal. Next question is like that only, right? Find the equation of tangent and normal to the hyperbola. For, so theta value given, theta value what? Pi by 3. The given equation is 12x square minus 9y square equal to 108. So arrange in correct form, identify a square, b square. So dividing by 108. So 12 divided by 108, you can cancel, right? x square by 9 minus y square by 12 equal to 1. So this is hyperbola, right? This is hyperbola. In between minus is there. So hyperbola, for hyperbola, first one's denominator is a square. Second one denominator is b square. So a square value 9, b square value 12, parameter theta equal to pi by 3. Everything you know, now you need formula, that's all. So here they ask equation of tangent and normal, right? So equation of tangent at theta 
to the hyperbola, right? Hyperbola, secant and tan will come. But in ellipse, uh, cos and sine. Here the formula is, the formula is, remember, x secant theta by a minus y tan theta by b equal to 1. Again, you, you, you need even trigonometry, right? So x into secant theta, secant pi by 3, right? By a value, a square is 9, a value 3. Minus y into tan pi by 3 by b root 12, 4 into 3, right? So 2 root 3 equal to 1. Now substitute the values. So x into secant 60, secant 60. What is cos 60? 1 by 2. So secant 60 is 2. So 2 by 3 minus y into tan 60 is root 3, right? Root 3 by 2 root 3 equal to 1. So here root 3, root 3 cancel. So you are getting 2x by 3 minus y by 2 equal to 1. So take 6 as LCM. So 4x minus 3y equal to 1. Cross multiply. 4x minus 3y equal to 6. Bring it to the left side. So 4x minus 3y minus 6 equal to 0. Don't stop here. This is equation of tangent only, right? Now equation of normal. Equation of normal at theta to the hyperbola, right? The formula ax by secant theta plus by by tan theta equal to a square plus b square. Mere substitution only, I'm leaving it to you. Check whether you are getting this answer. Okay, check you'll be getting this answer. Okay, now just another two questions, we try to do that. Prove that the point of intersection, point of intersection means what? In 10th standard study, no? Two lines given, find the point of intersection. We just solve it. Here also same thing. Find the point of intersection of the tangents at t1 and t2 to the parabola y square equal 4ax is okay. Prove that question. Answer also given. So a little more easier, right? So first we write equation of tangent. Equation of tangent at t. What's the formula for equation of tangent at t? x plus a t1, a t square, right? a t square equal to a t. This is equation of tangent at t. But we want t1. So what do you do? Instead of t, you write what? t1. And equation of tangents at t1 and t2. Both you write. t2 means same thing. Instead of t1, you write what? t2. So x plus a t2 square equal to y t2, right? So these are the two lines. You solve it, check whether you are getting x value, y value, that two values. So you can eliminate x very easily, right? So this is equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 minus 2, so x cancel, a into t1 square minus t2 square equal to the right side, y common, t1 minus t2. So a into, factorize it, a square minus b square, a plus b into a minus b, t1 plus t2, into t1 minus t2 equal to y into t1 minus t2. So t1 minus t2 you can cancel. So you are getting y value. Is it correct? a into t1 plus t2. Yes, one value got it. So y equal to a into t1 plus t2. Now x also you need. For that you substitute in the first equation. So this value is substituted in the first equation. What's the first equation? x plus a t1 square is equal to y into, instead of y, you give the value a into t1 plus t2 into t1. So from here you have to find x value. So a into, sorry, x plus, x plus a t1 square equal, expand the right side. Here outside a and t1 is there. So a t1 into t1, it is a t1 square plus a t2 t1 or t1 t2 a t1 square cancel, that's all, very simple thing, x equal to a t1 t2. That is x coordinate, is it correct? Yes, a t1 t2. So write the final answer, both x and y, you got it. So instead of numbers, you are getting some expressions like this, right? Therefore, point of intersection is x comma y, x value a t1 t2 and y value a into t1 plus t2, right? 
just you write, uh, remember the formula, then point of intersection, you just solve it, okay? This is another proof that question. Again, you need the formula. If the normal at the point T1 on the parabola, so uh, equation of normal at T1 to the parabola. So in the previous one we used tangent, but now normals equation. The equation you remember y plus x t1 because t1, right? Equal to a t cube. Since it is t1, you write a t1 cube plus 2 a t. So, but here it is 2 a t1. So this is equation of normal. What they are telling here, normal at t1 meets a parabola again at t2. Again at t2. Since it meets at t2. t2 means what is the coordinate? x equal to a t square, o equal to 2 a t, right? So t2 means, instead of t, you write t2. It means, that means this point lies on that. So substitute this point for x and y, you substitute these values, y, instead of y, give the value 2 a t2. Plus x, what is x value? a t2 square, a t2 square into t1 equal to a t1 cube plus 2a t1, right? Now, just we want to factorize it. So here, what is common? So you do one thing, 2a times you group it. So a t2 cube, a t2 cube in square, right? a t2 square into t1 minus a t1 cube equal to already we have 2 a t1 this 2 a t2 you take it to the right side so minus 2 a t2 so right side you can take 2 a outside what you get t1 minus t2 here what is common a t1 right so a t1 i am taking minus a t1 you can understand the reason the next step a t1 you take minus a t1 so the negative become plus right so the second term become positive, you will get T1 square. Because T1 cube, one T1 is taken out. From the first term become minus. A and T1 remaining T2 square. Because now if we factorize T1 plus T2 into T1 minus T2, the right side also T1 minus T2 can cancel it, right? Minus A T1 into factorize it T1 plus T2 into T1 minus T2. Equal to 2A into T1 minus T2, cancel T1 minus T2. So what answer you need, prove that, right? T2 equal to, okay? In the right side, everything T1. So T2 we have to find from here. So how can you find? So better you find T1 plus T2 is equal to, minus you take there, min, both the sides you can cancel this A also, right? So you are getting minus, I'm taking there, 2 by T1. So we want T2 only, no? So T2 is equal, take this T1 there, minus T1, minus 2 by T1. So that is T2 is equal to, minus you take outside, T1 plus 2 by T1. Like this, they can frame number of questions. Okay, so previous exercise, nothing, only identify, right? Identify what type of conic it is. But this exercise, more work is there for you. A lot of formula you have to study. Then how to apply the formula? Okay, that's all. If you know this, you can do this some very exercise very easily. And the last exercise is full of application. Okay, all statement sums that I will teach in the next class. Before that, you prepare all these things. We'll continue the next class.